Signals are one of the go-to tools in Godot, implementing the observer pattern in an easy, engine-first way. They're great when you need to respond to an event that could come at some point in the future, or if you want to wait for an event to happen before continuing a bit of code. But if you need to wait for multiple signals to emit, there's no first-class way to handle that. A problem I ran into on Unto Deepest Depths when I needed to trigger an exploding enemy, which could then trigger other exploding enemies, sometimes simultaneously, and wait for the chain of events to resolve itself before continuing turn resolution. Each explosion fires a completion signal, so I just needed a way to wait for all of these signals to fire before continuing code execution. To that end, I came up with a small utility class that allows me to wait for an arbitrary number of signals to fire and wraps it all up into a simple interface. To use this class, I instantiate an instance of it, provide the signals to listen for when calling all, and then await the function itself to complete. The logic behind this class is pretty straightforward. Each signal is subscribed to using the connect one shot flag so that it's automatically connected after the first time it fires in case its source triggers it more than once for whatever reason, and an internal counter tracks how many signals still need to be fired. When that counter reaches zero, the internal all complete signal will fire, as the all function will not complete until this signal has fired, awaiting the function call itself is all that's needed to wait for all provided signals to fire. It's not a perfect implementation though, as you may have noticed that if you call all on the same object again and before all of the previous signals have completed, the counter will reset to a new number of signals, while the old signals will still be connected, able to fire, and therefore decrement the counter. For my use case, where these objects are used once and thrown away, that's not a problem. But if you use this in your own project, be sure to instantiate a new instance every time you need one, or add some code to disconnect any old signals before connecting new ones. Other ideas for improvement would be to implement a factory function of some sort if you wanted to try to take the usage down to a single line, creating an any function that waits for the first of any of the provided signals to fire, or even just better handling of signals that pass parameters since this implementation doesn't expect any. Again, things that weren't a concern for me in my project, but may be for you, so I'm going to leave those as an exercise for the viewer.